Hello, IMC interns. I'm Steve Delinsky, the food reporter at ABC7 here in Chicago. I've been covering the food scene here the last 25 years in my beloved city, which is probably a lot longer than some of you have been around. And I am so sorry you can't be with us this summer in person, spending your steamy afternoons inside the Willis Tower, which, by the way, we used to call the Sears Tower here. I'm going to be your host today, though, showing you some of the greatest places to eat in one of the hottest neighborhoods in the city. Now, Chicago is a city of neighborhoods, 77 to be exact, and this is one of the best places to eat right now. The West Loop, just west of downtown, there are really great places to eat here. I come here so many times because there's everything, everything from late night munchies, uh, pizza, not necessarily deep dish, although they have that too, uh, upscale Indian, even refined tasting menus. Now, the first place we're gonna visit today is run by a husband and wife. They used to work in Chicago years ago. They went out to Virginia for a while to work in a farmhouse. Now they're back and they've got a restaurant that just garnered two Michelin stars. Let's go take a look. Here at Smith and the Loyalist with Chef John Shields, his better half Karen, helps him run the business. You guys worked together and cooked in Chicago years ago. You went to Virginia for a while, but then you decided to come back here to Chicago to open up two businesses. How come? Uh, this is home for us. This is uh, where we spent our formative years learning how to cook and uh, growing up as adults, and uh, it just made sense. You worked at Charlie Trotter's? And Olivia. Wow. And you got two different styles here. What's Smith and the Loyalist? So uh, Smith is a tasting menu restaurant based uh, and, and focused on uh, the best products, some of the plants that we grow here and uh, up on our roof as well, but then really sourcing the best seafood and meats we possibly can and showcasing them as simply as possible. The Loyalist is our sort of giving back to the neighborhood of Chicago, the West Loop, inspired by French brasseries. Great burger downstairs, but serious menu upstairs, two Michelin stars, so maybe have your folks pay for dinner. John, thanks so much. Thank you. Our next stop here at El Che Steakhouse and Bar with John Manning, the chef and owner. But not a typical steakhouse you can think of in Chicago. Different because John grew up in Brazil. So what are you doing differently here, John? Well, I've kind of taken the experience I had in South America growing up and traveling later in life and uh, put it through the lens of, of cooking in the Midwest. So we have an homage to, to South American food, uh, but in a Midwestern version of the parijada. So this is like a South American platter, right? Sure, it's an homage to uh, eating outside with your family, um, the Sunday afternoon ritual where you kind of sit around and, and eat barbecued meats all day. Uh, this is served on a platter for uh, the whole table. Digging with your hands, you look like a caveman here at El Che Steakhouse and Bar. John, thanks so much. Thank you. From an Argentinian beef bonanza to some elegant Indian food with an emphasis on the vegetables, I'm here at Rue with owner Manish Malik. Now, Rue started in San Francisco in 2017. You opened up here about a year ago. Correct. Why the West Loop? Uh, wanted to expose the Chicago community to uh, elevated Indian cuisine. And your chef spent about a decade in London Correct. where Indian cuisine is served at a much higher level than in America. What makes this unique in terms of the Indian food we have in Chicago? Uh, at Rue Chicago, we use uh, modern ingredients. Uh, for example, jackfruit cutlet, which comes with mint and cilantro chutney and uh, Madras curry sauce, which is made fresh daily in-house. We try to leverage the local area, local ingredients, local partnerships to bring it to our community. Fantastic. Manish, thanks so much. Most welcome. Our final stop for pizza, but not deep dish. This is Roman style pizza, Roman al taglio. I'm here at Bonchi with Shakib Tuami, the partner here at Bonchi in hey, Chicago. Welcome, guys. What is Roman style pizza? Roman style pizza is basically pizza al taglio. It has to be crispy. It's cut by the scissors, could be round, could be square. You cut it and you weigh it and you pay by the pound. Yes, sir. Okay, so you've got two flavors you're gonna talk about today in particular, even though you've got dozens that you offer. Yeah. Which two do you like? Uh, well, I go back to most tradition one. It's, uh, it's the potato and mozzarella one. It's a carb on top of carb on top of carb, no sauce. The other one is the uh, Italian beef and giardinera that Gabrielli created, and he created specially for this market. And giardinera is that beautiful Italian relish that you find on an Italian beef sandwich which you're gonna to have to try when you come visit us. Chiki, thanks so much. Thank you, guys. And that's our tour of some of the delicious places to eat in the West Loop. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoy the rest of your internship, everybody.